So we are here at Walmart, right? I need to get some better hair product than the crap that I'm wearing right now because it doesn't seem to be working very well, as you can tell. I also need a haircut, but I checked online, says to you that they already have it. Let's go get it. Ooh, Shrek wipes for those hard to get rid of stains. And now the family pack. <sighs> they don't have it here either. Hey guys, Chris here. It's good to be back in the valley. I just came back, actually, I went to go visit my dad in Laredo. Hadn't seen him in a long time. I actually, now that I think about it, I haven't seen him since January. Man, that was some time ago. That was also like 30 pounds ago. Totally different person. I also got braces since then. He didn't really comment on that or my weight loss, but whatever. It's just good to see my old man. Today was a nice and sunny day, which was the total opposite of the other day. See, on my drive back from Laredo, it was raining like crazy, driving through absolute blind rain and hail the size of like, like the ice that comes from Sonic. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, that. I mean, look, check out this footage. I feel like it's getting heavier. I may have to pull over. And the crazy thing too, is that as soon as I get back into the valley, right? We're talking like Edinburgh, where UTRGV is, absolute dry. It's like the rain hadn't even touched there yet. But on my way home, got off the expressway, as soon as I got on Benson Road, just you know, it caught up to me and it was intense and Benson Road was entirely flooded. All right, so we're currently on Benson Road here in McAllen and uh, it's currently flooding. A lot of cars are driving about 10 miles per hour and uh, fortunately I'm just about a block away. Gotta get home! And you know what the crazy thing is? Check out this footage from the day after. It's like nothing happened. Look at this guys. I can actually drive through here, but all of this was previously underwater. So yeah. That totally happened, but aside from the dangerous drive back, it was just really good to see my dad. See, I'm gonna be starting a second job soon, and I don't know when I'm gonna have the free time to go visit him. So I thought, Chris, while you can, you should go see your dad, because it's gonna be even harder to do so, and somehow you're gonna have to find time to go. Also, I wanna leave you guys with something. You know, maybe you, the viewer, are into making videos just like me, so I've got a couple of things that I wanted to share with you. These are five things that every YouTuber needs. And just a quick side note, this isn't like other videos where, you know, you need some kind of camera or an editing suite. That stuff's kind of a given when it comes to making vlogs. You know, you're gonna need that stuff regardless. This goes a little bit more in depth than just technology. So, as you guys already know, vlogs are behind the scenes, but not everybody is gonna care about your daily life unless either they can relate to you or you can really entertain them. What you wanna do is you wanna keep things simple so that way your videos are easy to consume, but just a little complex enough that's gonna keep your viewers engaged. It's like Casey Neistat says that vlogs are a way of telling story of your life. Um, like I said, they're kinda behind the scenes, so they're not super fancy, but you know, just putting in like a little bit of extra effort really makes the difference. A lot of people have told me that they like it when I put in like random stuff in there just because it spices things up, you know, just make sure you don't go all Michael Bay on it. Number two is organization. Having consistent uploads, having a schedule when you're gonna upload, maybe a certain time, how often you do it. Me, personally, I've been trying to do it every other day. One day I film, the next day I edit, so on and so forth. And when I edit, I also upload. Also, archiving your videos, you gotta put them somewhere. Now, there's a lot of other things you can do to help save you time. I'm talking about making templates. So I'm talking about spending an entire day making a template and having all the little things that you're gonna use in every single video. Moving on to number three, SEO, or known as search engine optimization. This is talking about what words you put in your title, your description, your tags, and when all else fails, your thumbnail. See, these are what are gonna help people come to your video. It's what's gonna help them find your video. If you don't put some really good stuff in there, especially what your video is about, people aren't gonna find your video. There's so many, I don't even know the number, hundreds, maybe thousands of hours uploaded every single minute. I mean, your video is gonna get buried in there, but if you wanna stand out, you gotta use those tags, man, and master SEO. Number four, community. Building a community is gonna take a lot of time 
and engagement. Encouraging people to like and subscribe and share your videos is one thing, but acknowledging your actual viewer by name is something that just blows their mind. For instance, Natalie, my girlfriend, has a friend that watches the vlogs. His name is Carlos. Look, that's Carlos. You're gonna say hi to him. Carlos, this is Christopher. Hi, Christopher. what's up, brother? Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, man. I, I watch your vlogs all the time. You wanna say hi, man? This is gonna come out in the future one. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, I'm good. Hey Carlos, what we do a lot of times is I'll just randomly give a shout out to him because it's really cool that without having to tell somebody to go watch my videos, they discovered me. Like if I'm a big name YouTuber, that's pretty exciting. And it's also exciting for them whenever they know, hey, the person that I'm watching acknowledges me. Like that's, that's pretty cool. If one of the big name YouTubers would be like, hey, shout out to Chris Cabello over there, you know, like, hey man, thanks for always watching. I would legit be mind blown. And that's something that you can do to help build your community by actually caring about your viewers. Get to know your viewers. In fact, go through your subscriptions or like people that are subscribed to you and just some of them actually have their real name on there. If not, you can always give a shout out. A lot of people do this with like credits, but I like to personally say it because it shows that I took the time to get to know their name and who they are. Sometimes I'll even browse their channel. Now, I do want to say this, you don't have to ask them to like or subscribe because the truth is, is they genuinely love your content. They're gonna do that anyways. There are so many times where I don't even, I haven't even watched the first second of the video and I just give it a like because I really support and love that creator. No matter what it is that they put out there, I support it. Hopefully I'll have someone like that. And if you are one of those people, hey, I love you guys so much. Still, it doesn't hurt to ask them to do so. I mean, technically you're just reminding them, right? Everyone does that. And number five, the hardest one, in my opinion, to master, patience. See, everyone wants to be the next big name YouTuber or vlogger or whatever, right? But it's not gonna happen overnight. It takes patience and consistency to get to that level. Because everyone expects instant gratification nowadays, a lot of people are gonna burn out and give up, but not you. So as somebody who has seen growth over time, this is what I think will be the keys to success. Consistent uploading, building your community, mastering SEO, being patient, and obviously being organized with your life. Those are my tips that I think will be the keys to success. And truth be told, if you make videos just like me, if you've ever hit publish, and I'm talking about uploading, you still have to publish it. You have to press a button that says publish. If you've ever hit that button, congratulations. You have made it way farther than most people ever will who say, I wanna do this or I wanna do that. I mean, come on, everyone would love to be a travel vlogger or paid to endorse a product or service not everyone wants to put in the effort to get to that level. So you be that person. Be the one that goes all out with all your heart, be motivated and determined and never stop. Every once in a while, yeah, sure, I get it. You get tired, you get burned out. Believe me, I've done it like two or three times, but don't give up. You don't lose when you fail. You lose when you fail to keep going. So I really hope that I've left some sort of impact with you guys. If not, uh, if you don't make YouTube videos, well then I really hope you just enjoyed this video. So either way, please be sure to give a like. Don't forget to share and subscribe guys. My name is Christopher and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.